Magic speculation is not the best thing to do in the world. Most of the money you earn off of bets you call right is often used to balance off the ones you called wrong. Like new law student, I was once a speculator myself. With the money I earned when I did have a good paying job, I used to speculate on cards just like everyone else. Although it's fun for its time, I lost more than I gained. Out of all the bets I made, I made a lot of bad ones. With the good ones, I used them to balance out the bad. Therefore, I wasn't getting ahead. Sure, I might have called right on dual lands, fetch lands, and a few eternal cards, but that, like all the bad bets, were risky moves. In turn, I could have used that same money for weapons and precious metals, but back then I was still on mission. Earlier, last year, I was in somewhat of a midlife crisis, where I had to choose whether I wanted to resume major speculating or not. After Wizards tried to politically destroy my reputation for the third time, I simply stepped down to pursue better things. With the money I saved, I used part of it to do stuff I always wanted to do, but never had the chance to do it. I bought a katana, went to a sword show, and a few comic conventions, learned everything I could about weaponsmithing, and even caught up on my reading. Do I still speculate? No, as I need eat that money aim for better things than stockpiling it on cards I'll never use. Thank you.